Got a question from a, in this case, a husband with Asperger's syndrome who has uh, self-diagnosed himself with having the alexithymic component to ASD level one. And he's wanting to know, is there any way that someone with emotions blindness can develop some emotional intelligence? Well, most people on the autism spectrum do lack emotional intelligence to one degree or another. We will define emotional intelligence as the ability to identify, assess, and control the emotions of oneself, of others, and of groups, harness emotions to facilitate various cognitive activities, for example, thinking and problem solving, detect and decipher emotions in faces, pictures, voices, and cultural artifacts, including the ability to identify one's own emotions, to comprehend emotional language, and lastly, to appreciate complicated relationships among different emotions. Now that's quite a mouthful and quite a task at hand for sure. So let's look at the four attributes of emotional intelligence. And this might give you a starting point. The first attribute is social awareness. Now this is understanding the emotions, needs, and concerns of other people, picking up on emotional cues, feeling comfortable socially, and recognizing the power dynamics in a group. Okay, the second attribute would be self-management. Now this is being able to control impulsive feelings and behaviors, managing emotions in healthy ways, taking initiative, following through on commitments, and adapting to changing circumstances. The third attribute is self-awareness. This is recognizing one's emotions and how they affect one's thoughts and behavior knowing one's strengths and weaknesses, and having self-confidence. And the fourth and final attribute to emotional intelligence would be relationship management. This is knowing how to develop and maintain good relationships, communicate clearly, inspire and influence others, work well in a team, and manage conflict. Now, that's a lot to swallow, and you don't have to do all of this. In fact, the recommendation, if you want to try a self-help strategy, would be to just pick one of these four and start small and begin working in just one of these areas, either social awareness, self-management, self-awareness, or relationship management. In an ideal world, you would reach out to a social skills coach or a life coach who has some expertise in ASD. Uh, you can also find therapists online or off. I happen to be one of those. But you want to engage in what we call effective education which is basically teaching people on the autism spectrum why they have emotions, their use and misuse, and the identification of different levels of expression. Now, some of the skills obtained through effective education include, but are not limited to, the ability to use humor and play to deal with challenges, resolve conflicts positively and with confidence, recognize and manage one's emotions, quickly reduce stress, and connect with others through nonverbal communication. So as some of you on the autism spectrum who are listening to this video may be thinking, there's no way I can achieve this on my own, which is true for the most part. Having said that though, emotional literacy can be learned and this is a starting point.